Hello. I just want to make a video because I just, well, haven't completely finished it, but I feel that it's basically finished. It just needs the finishing touches. I've just finished cooking my first meal or dish or whatever you want to call it. I mean, I've done them in the past, but I don't really count them because this is like different. This is like me deciding to cook something, getting the ingredients, blah, 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 cooking it. And yeah, it's awesome. Like um, I made, decided to make some pumpkin soup um, from this recipe book that I bought um, a week or two ago and um, like it's not complete yet it's still like just sitting there on the um, what do you call it the stove um, the pumpkin soup in the pot but all I have to do now is just kind of like heat it up again and then dish it out and then put some maybe yogurt on it or something like that um, the recipe says to add some like 25 grams of melted butter on it into it but I don't really, I'm not going to do that because I, I was speaking to this lady at work and um, she was saying um, that, yeah, the recipe is just a guideline and you're allowed to do whatever you want, you know. So I've decided that it's got, my, my pumpkin soup is going to be even healthier. It's not going to have the 25 grams of butter because, you know, because it already tastes pretty good to me. Like, I know I like it because um, there was a point where I'd already m made it and then I had to add like um, two teaspoons of sugar, stirred it up. And then um, I was supposed to um, add some salt to and pepper for taste or something like that. But as I was, um, what do you call it, S tasting it, to s I already liked how it tastes okay already. I just kept on having more and more. I couldn't stop. <laughs> so, I mean, I like it already. I mean, yeah, it was great. So, it might even taste, I don't know, it might taste better with salt, but I don't know. I, I'm fine with the way it is. I don't want to mess around with it. Um, I had so much, like... I really learnt a lot, well, I learnt relatively a lot from zero to something when I was preparing this, it was cool because, um, yeah, so many things, like, first of all, I had the pumpkin, and I had to, the recipe said, um, dice it up and, and then put it in a pot, and that sounded so simple enough when I was reading it, but then when I actually went to, like, having to dice it up, I was like, I had no idea how to do it, like, I grabbed one of the knives, and I was uh, it wasn't easy. I was like, what the hell? How am I going to chop this up to little pieces? Um, like, first, I didn't know whether to use a long, sharp knife or the butcher knife, meat cleaver one. I wasn't sure, and um, I was like, I'm going to just slice it up the way I would have sliced the watermelon, you know, like into like those long bits, and then I don't know what I was going to do. And it still had to be peeled and stuff. And my mum was like, um, oh no, what? she suggested that I just cut off little bits at a time. Like just slice off little parts at a time. So I did that. It took a lot longer than I imagined in my head it would take to do this. But um, I learned a lot. Like I would chop it. And the first of all, I wasn't even chopping. I was like sawing at it. And then putting my hands down and pushing. Because that's how I would cut like a cantaloupe and stuff. But then I saw my mum, like she just grabbed, she showed me one or two pieces, like she just went with the, with the, the meat cleaver one, bang, bang, and just cuts it so well. And I was like, oh, that's, I learned a new move. I learned you can do that with the butcher knife rather than kind of like, you know, that's, so I learned a new thing there. And I learned that it's good to be decisive with the cut, boom, better than, you know, than half cutting it. It's just, sometimes it's better that way. And like when I was cutting it at the start, like, Sometimes bits would fly everywhere, that the seeds would fly everywhere and onto the ground and I had to like sweep it up and stuff. Um, yeah, and then once I got them to like lots of little pieces, um, I had to cut off the peel of it. So then I would just get the shalong sharp knife and just cut them bit by bit. And I don't know, it just took a lot longer than I expected, but you know what was fun? Like um, when I had the pieces and I was dicing them up, like, you know, like, I'd already peeled them and stuff. Not peeled them. You cut off the peel. And then I was cutting them up to, like, smallish kind of size pieces. And then I got the chopping board and scraped it into the big bowl where I had contain con the container for all the pumpkin pieces. I felt, like, so much like I was on, like, those cooking shows. Because, you know, you see them do on the cooking shows. This... And then they get the thing. And then even the coolest one is when they do it on the frying pan or whatever. And they go... And it goes... Yeah, I mean, that that's like, to me, that's like, that's cooking. <laughs> but And so I got to do that, but not into a pan, but into a, like just a normal bowl. But I was still enjoying myself, like, scra chopping it up, then scraping it into it. So I, I had a, I had fun doing that. Um, and then what I did was uh, I got, like, a pot and put the stock in, which is like, you know, the 
I bought the stock, uh, poured it in, and it actually smelled pretty interesting. Like you know, it's good. And then I put the pumpkin in, and then I like um, put it to boil, and then let it simmer for twenty minutes, and then I came back. The thing is, yeah, twenty minutes. Like I wasn't gonna wait around, so I did like some exercise and stuff, and then um, came back twenty minutes later. And then it, I looked at it and it smelled good, it smelled really cool. And then I, so I got the potato masher. Yeah, the potato masher and mashed it up and that was quite fun to do. Um, to make it like, um, like a puree kind of, I don't know, like a soup, more like a soup. So that was fun. Um, and then I added the two teaspoons of sugar and then I chased it and I was like, yum. Like, yeah, I mean, it's not, the, the, probably the best soup in the world probably so much wrong with it but um, I'm happy with it I yeah it's yum <laughs> and it really it's not up to me to make it yum because the stock and the pumpkin is all that was in it and that came ready I just had to put them together but still um, it's fun and what's cool is um, my friend Vu just called just then like um, and called me on the phone and he goes what are you doing and I said I'm cooking pumpkin soup and he's like oh wow because I'm like I've, I, I don't cook usually ever before like not very much and um he said from scratch and I was like yeah from scratch from and he's like from real pumpkins I was like yeah and he's like wow cool. and so he's impressed and like I can understand because I would be impressed if someone else did this you know cooked something you know well he sh he, he actually cooks because you know he lives on his own so he actually cooks so he's much much better but um yeah so it was cool and I told him I was um going to level up my cooking like in wow <laughs> I, I told him I bought a cookbook and I was going to level up my cooking and he was like oh yeah it's like wow and it is in a way because that's what it's like it's like I probably gained like one or two points today in cooking skill out of like 300 but um yeah it was fun like so it's not complete yet um people haven't eaten it and the thing is I have feel under no pressure to um I don't care if people like it or not um it's all about just me um getting more comfortable cooking and stuff. So that was it. I may, I don't think I'll make a video of like after I ate it. I might talk about it, but depends. But I, to me, I've already succeeded in what I wanted to do for this pumpkin soup. It was cool. And so it's fun now that that's, once that's done, I get to pick what I make next. Um, my plan is like, um, just to go through, cause the, the cookbook is divided into different sections. Like I think like, entrees, mains, desserts, and st salads and stuff. So each time I do it, I'm going to go through a different section. So I'll get like an overview kind of thing of everything. So that's cool. Um, I'm looking forward to it. So yeah, so uh, awesome. Now when I see someone chopping up a pumpkin, I'll be like, oh, I know, I know what that's like. I, I feel you. <laughs> Anyways, so that's um, my cooking adventure. And I had a good time. And yeah, hopefully I... Um, always um, like enjoy cooking this much.